Hey everyone, I am your astrologer Wonder Girl taking you to new heights. Here is your daily forecast for the day of Wednesday, June 13th, 2018. Now before I get started, uh, I just wanted to let you know one thing. That's that I am doing a special live webinar um, tonight on the new moon in Gemini to just talk more about what that is about. The new moon in Gemini is today. I think it's at like what 1 p.m. yeah 1 p.m. mountain time um, but I'm gonna do this webinar at 7 30 p.m. mountain time so after it happens 6 30 p.m. pacific time and 9 30 p.m. Um, eastern time <laughs> if you feel like you want to learn more about this new moon maybe you're having a tough time of it because this is not my favorite new moon of the year it's not the easiest one either uh, please come check that out um, it's on sale for my birthday uh, giving you all a little bit of a discount uh, for this new moon. I think it's important because it's the first new moon in Gemini since Saturn left Sagittarius. They're opposite signs. They're intimately connected. So uh, whatever we're working out now in Gemini is going to be the opposite side of the coin, the opposite of the things that we were working out for the past two and a half years. I think we're trying to now round things out, round our life out and get a better perspective. So if you're interested in that and you want to hear by sign, I'm going to break it down in the webinar by sign. <laughs> uh, please sign up at the link down below in my description box. The next thing I wanted to mention um, as well was thank you for all of the birthday wishes. For those of you who wish me happy birthday, it means so much to me. I feel like this year I've been like such a diva talking about my birthday all the time. I'm not normally like this. I'm like, I feel like such a Leo. <laughs> Um, but I turned 30 today, so I'm super pumped. I don't know what it is about 30, but 30 is literally like the birthday I've been waiting for four years. I'm so excited to finally be 30, to no longer be a kid anymore. <laughs> Even though I'm still a kid at heart, my Gemini is still like a little child inside. Um, but I'm just pumped about it. And my Saturn return for the most part is over. Although Saturn will be back within a degree soon, very soon. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm excited. Uh, thank you for all of your birthday wishes. Um, cool. And now let's go for your horoscope. What we've got today, moon hanging out in Gemini. When the moon's in Gemini, of course, it's very communicative. <laughs> a lot's going on in the mind. If it's not communicating outwardly, a lot of thinking that uh, could be going on as well. Okay, because we haven't had the new moon yet, especially at the beginning of the day, a lot of this could just be like internal stuff, trying to work things out internally, figure things out from the past that we're trying to get right with. Right. says so it's going on. Also, Gemini, just to name a few other things, does rule siblings. If you have any siblings, maybe thinking a lot about those kind of matters, dealing with, yeah, siblings. Also, uh, your immediate community, so short trips around town, fall into Gemini, and usually lower education, <laughs> just to give you more information there. So we're talking like technical schools are very Gemini, as well as like middle school, high school, that kind of thing. Um, so that's what goes on. Now, early this morning, 3 a.m. Mountain Time, this moon in Gemini made a square to Neptune. Of course, squares are a little bit difficult. <laughs> Neptune is hard because Neptune has a lot of things going on inside, spiritually, emotionally, especially with Mercury now in Cancer. That could be a little bit hard to process. So there could be some confusion that comes in early in the morning around 3 a.m. mountain time. Maybe just not feeling quite right with Neptune and Pisces stationing. It's stationing to go retrograde next week. I think there's a lot going on inside us spiritually, emotionally. I think we're trying to figure out and make sense of the past few months. Did we do everything right? Did we not? Did we do everything we needed to do? What does it all mean? How do we feel okay uh, with all of the things that have occurred and accept them? And I think that's when we come in at 3 a.m. this morning is we're feeling a lot. We're processing a lot emotionally, but it it's now trying to get the, the mind on board. I feel like that's a lot, to be honest, of what this month has really been about, especially with the sun and Mercury just in this spot where the moon now is today in the square to Neptune. And I feel like this month, and you'll hear me talk a lot about this tomorrow in the webinar, has definitely all been about processing the things from the past, taking the negative and transmuting them into the positive. I really do think that's a lot of what is going on here, um, especially with this new moon going to be in the third deacon, the Sabian symbols, the inside degree. It's just a lot. It's a lot about getting the healthy perspective on your experiences. And I think that's what we're trying to figure out at 3 a.m. <laughs> you know, is okay. Now that life has happened to me, 
um, now that for the most part, like all the new stuff has been done. Now that now that Saturn's at a Sag, we've gotten everything in that we needed to get in. I don't know if needs the word I want to use, but now that we've gotten a lot of stuff in in the past few years, now it's time to process, to understand, to integrate uh, all of this stuff <laughs> um, so that we can move forward on it. Yeah, so I think that's a lot of what's uh, what we're trying to figure out to how to make sense logically of everything that's occurred. Okay, so that happens at 3 a.m. Then um, uh, quite a few hours later at 1 p.m. Mountain Time, the moon moves further through Gemini and makes a conjunction with the sun. And that, of course, is what makes it a new moon. So we've got the new moon at 1 p.m. Of course, that could bring fresh energy, new beginnings. A lot of times in communication and how you communicate could be a big burst of energy to communicate. Maybe lots of people are talking to you then or you're talking or maybe some of the things that are going on inside you, you get to be a little bit more open about, <laughs> about what's going on as well so I think that could happen and then of course with the new moon of being opposite Sagittarius where Saturn was I think it's finally time for us to say look my life is not what it used to be um, for the past two and a half years I think we've known that for quite some time and I think now this new moon and Gemini is really saying okay now it's time to let that hit home that your life is not what it was and to start to live life differently now that you have or are trying to integrate these experiences uh, into your life all right yeah I think we're just trying to the best that we can focus on a lot of the things in the past two and a half years that we neglected and to come back and to just make sense of them more and more. Uh, yeah. So that's what's happening there. Um, then at, I'm trying to decide, I was like, do I want to mention the quincunx? Because I will mention the quincunx uh, in my webinar, but this new moon is going to be in a quincunx to Pluto. Uh, as well. So even though we're trying to talk about some things, get the perspective on our experiences so far, this quincunx to Pluto, which is funny, my natal moon quincunx is Pluto, uh, could bring up a lot of intense feelings under the surface too that it is that we're trying to communicate about. <laughs> a lot of y'all say I communicate very intensely. I blame that on the quincunx to Pluto. So I think we're trying to process our emotions, get some insights, some spiritual insights, some things that have happened to us in the past so you can get comfortable with where our life is now. And I think the quincunx to Pluto is bringing up a really deep, really intense undertone, emotionally strong emotions as we try to process and communicate about some of the things going on within us. All right, then that's it for the day. <laughs> it's actually kind of a slow new moon day other than the fact that Mercury and Venus are acting up, um, but that's happening there with the moon, that's it. And then the next aspect won't occur until tomorrow at 3 a.m. Mountain Time. And tomorrow, um, the moon's going to enter into Cancer at 3 a.m. And then very shortly after, two hours later, it's going to sextile Uranus and then square Chiron. So what's going to happen tomorrow morning is that after all this communication, trying to process what we're feeling mentally, having a lot going on inside, after all of that comes, then I think things maybe calm down a little bit tomorrow, become a little bit more internal. If they're not already, I think they already are. Um, and it gets to be definitely a little bit more emotional. So yeah, I mean this new moon is already a pretty emotional new moon, I'm not gonna lie, with the ruler of the new moon in Cancer, with the quincunx to Pluto, but I think maybe that's what I'm trying to say, <laughs> is that the emotions carry over. Um, and I think the things that we think about today at the new moon that we try to understand, that we try to process in the mind, I think tomorrow we try to get more comfortable with these insights, to figure out what they really mean to us emotionally, to root ourselves in the things that we realize today. Okay, I hope that wasn't confusing, but I think that that's what goes on. And as we try to get comfortable with these insights tomorrow, um, to process them more and more emotionally, to root and ground ourselves more and more in this new life, new experience, now that Saturn and Sagittarius is over, um, there could be some other things that come up. All right, with the moon making the square to Uranus, there could be some unexpected insights that we get very early tomorrow, tomorrow morning, again, about what we need to feel more comfortable in life uh, in some way, to get grounded, to overcome the past, to feel much better emotionally, but then with the moon very early tomorrow morning, going to square Chiron, 
these insights we cannot be too happy about because I mean with the square to Chiron we have to do things very differently now that we have the new moon on the other side of the zodiac that Saturn was on it's saying look life is not the way that it was before you have to change you have to do some things that are not quite what they were and now that we have a lot of these planets at least for right now in um, a water sign um, cancer uh, Mercury and Venus are there the Sun and the moon of course will be there soon it's saying look you gotta like stop trying to push so hard especially when Saturn was in a fire sign for so long it's like you gotta chill on the passion right now <laughs> even if you want it even if you want to do things um, and really have to figure out ways to nurture yourself through this process how to get more comfortable with everything that's gone on how to ground yourself and find the stability in your life more or less <laughs> before um, before making progress once again and I think that's what starts to come in at the very end of today really tomorrow although the mercury there today is kind of causing that is it's really all about okay now how do we get more grounded how do we root ourselves more and more even if that root is gonna be um, dug up a little bit a few months from now I think taking this time out to get right with ourselves um, is going to help prepare us for when things start to move again. And I think we're trying to get insights on how we can um, take this moment to be still, to figure things out. And it could be hard because maybe we don't want to be still with Mars in the South Node, with Chiron and Aries. We don't want to be still. We want to do things. We have things that we need to make happen so that we really can do what we want. And I think really at this time, needing to be okay if you can't do some things, if you have to sacrifice some things that that you really really want in order to find that comfort that it is that you need okay um, so I think that's what's going on um, after that <laughs> that's all for the day <laughs> now I'm gonna talk about what's going on in the background all right, maybe what I'll start with here is what I was just talking about because Mercury did move into Cancer yesterday, the very end of yesterday. I don't know if y'all felt that, but man, I did. All of a sudden, I got like super sluggish at the end of the day, very tired, body was hurting a little bit, um, but I definitely felt that. <laughs> uh, Mercury moved into Cancer, which of course is the ruler of the new moon. Um, again, making this new moon very emotional. We're communicating about things that perhaps are uh, sensitive to us in some way. I think really trying to figure out what's in our heart, what we're feeling, and how we can feel better. Again, Mercury, as it just moved into Cancer, is going to make that sextile to Uranus and that square to Chiron, which is where the moon will be. So I did just talk about this. But again, could bring insights um, really um, re any time in the next few days, uh, but especially when the moon crosses it tomorrow, early tomorrow morning. Again, insights about what we need to feel better in life, maybe even unexpected insights about what we need emotionally uh, to create more of a life that really makes us feel more comfortable, but again, maybe having to sacrifice some of our desires, some of the things that we want, or have to do things very differently in order to find some of that comfort that it is that we want, all right? Um, so we have that going on. Also, Mercury slowly coming into an opposition with Saturn, which it won't quite make until Saturday of this week, but could also require some choices or some decisions that it is that you may need to make. Of course, with Saturn and Capricorn, we've got a lot of responsibilities going on, a lot of things that we're doing, trying to work out. And of course, the moon and Cancer saying, okay, sure, you've got, and Mercury and Cancer saying, sure, you've got a lot of responsibilities, take care of the responsibilities that you need, but also try and find try to find ways to be more comfortable with what it is that you're doing and to acknowledge your emotions in the process so they're not you're not just working 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 but you're working in a way that you feel okay with that your home life is being taken care of your personal matters are being taken care of um, and that your emotions are more well integrated into these into these things that you're doing as well okay so I think that's a big thing that's coming up and I think we're trying to get the insights today on what we're thinking um, and what we're feeling and we're trying to make sense of what's gone on lately um, so that we can hopefully start to settle into this life that we have more and more and then make choices towards the end of the week to support um, 
like our, our health to support like healthy emotional responses to support um, you feeling more comfortable in life in some way and I think right now it could be some things are confusing a lot of things in the mind don't make sense emotionally and I think we're just trying to get that all out into the open which I really do think we've been doing for a while um, I think we're just trying to get all of that out into the open so that when Mercury opposes Saturn we can hopefully start to make some good choices better choices with a more true understanding of what is going on um, so that we can take care of ourselves more than we have in the past um, at least some of our private matters all right so we have that the other thing that i will mention venus too at 29 degrees cancer so again very emotional a lot going on inside about relationships wanting to nurture yourself um wanting to make sure everything's okay emotionally wanting to make sure other people are okay emotionally venus though coming into a, a square with uranus and a trying with Chiron though, making that a little bit hard, making it hard for you to feel comfortable in life since Venus rules, yeah, what, what brings us comfort and beauty. Maybe it being a little bit hard for us to feel comfortable. Also, maybe it making it hard for relationships or money, perhaps unexpected things coming up in relationships or money that may again be a little bit difficult for us to do the things that it is that we want, all right? And with the sextile to Uranus being so positive, um, that Mercury and the Moon are going to be making. I think I really do. I think we're getting insights on what we need to feel more comfortable in life, to feel more stable and secure, to have a life that really we can feel more rooted and grounded in. But I think again, in order to get that, we may have to upset the balance a little bit. We may have to upset our relationships, upset our money or our financial situation, perhaps unexpectedly, so that we can bring more of that comfort into our life, even if it's not quite what we wanted or quite what we intended intended or quite what we thought would happen in that way and I think really needing to make space for unexpected events to happen if they do and to trust the process especially with Venus coming closer and closer to the north node in the next few days because when Venus comes to the north node I think it can bring a very pleasant resolution to some of the things that you may be feeling right now. And if it doesn't bring um, like a very pleasant resolution, I do like to think it will bring some kind of sense of like inner knowing that this is what was meant to be, that this is what needs to happen at least for right now. So I think needing to let anything come up that you feel, <laughs> um, maybe upsetting some things if you want so that everything can start to uh, yeah, come together more in the way that you want. Okay, conversely, if you're not upsetting other people, other people could be upsetting you because they're realizing what it is that they need um, in themselves in order to feel better too um, and then letting you in on that okay um, and again just needing to be like patient like I, I think people are just trying to get right with themselves emotionally after a really crazy time that we've had this year <laughs> in the past few years and I think everyone's just trying to wait for their like the, for everything to process, for everything to hit home, especially in Cancer, um, so that they can figure out what their next moves are. And I think people right now are just like, man, like things have been really intense, <laughs> and things have been crazy and stressful and all over the place. And I think with this alignment, we're just trying to figure out how can that no longer be? <laughs> how can we finally get right with ourselves? And as a result, people may be breaking free from some old relationships old situations old value systems so that more of the comfort can come in all right mars in the south node again being frustrating because we're dealing with some things from the past maybe it's hard for us to do the things that it is that we want but with venus again moving closer and closer to the north node uh, and in this really hard spot needing to be patient needing to let your heart speak needing to trust that everything will be okay especially with these planets moving into cancer too it really is just like an inner knowing using your instincts um, I think will be very very important and that even if things don't make sense logically even though we want them to and I think trying to on a new moon in Gemini is good even if things don't make sense logically I do think in this chart and with Jupiter and a trine with Neptune there is like a little bit of an inner knowing and it's just a matter of clearing away all of the other stuff um, so that you can figure out what's really going on underneath you and inside you and uncover the truth inside um, that, that will give you the answers that you need um, and hopefully the positive answers uh, for sure and just needing to be able to listen to those promptings. 
All right, now your card for the day um, is the nine of cups reversed. So this to me is typically a card of being discontent <laughs> with this card. It's like you're so close to being content when it's upright. You're so close to finding something that you enjoy, feeling comfortable in life, oops, um, but you're not quite there yet. Um, and I think the message of this card, maybe being like figuring out why are you not content? What is wrong? What's what's not making you happy? And how can you go about getting it? I think that fits with the, some of the things I've been saying. Um, uh, I think that's important. I think also acknowledging with this card that you're so close that if you don't give up now, that you're going to be fine. <laughs> you know, and literally it's like, don't give up now. We are so close to the end. I think of some challenging times. I'm not going to lie. Unexpected things are coming, but I do like to think Jupiter is going to be in a much better spot. The North Node in Cancer. I think we are going to have a tad bit more support. Um, and so I'm just like, you're so close to completing the end of this crazy Saturn Sagittarius stuff. Don't give up now. Don't give up now. Figure out what you need. Go inward. Try to understand your needs better. Um, and then make the changes that you can in order to get that. All right. I think that will be important. Um, and even if that means you can't do the things the way you want or the way you thought you needed to do them, it's okay. As long as, um, I, I think at least in this point of time, as long as you ground yourself a little bit more so that things aren't so crazy. All right. So that's what I've got for you today. Thank you so much for watching my horoscope. If you like it, please like it on YouTube, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends, and I will talk to you later.